Buongiorno, I'm Gabriella Brussino. In this video clip, I'd like to explain why learning Italian can be useful in your future career, what to expect from learning Italian language and culture at the University of Auckland, and how we can help you once you have achieved a solid language grounding to put your Italian into practice in your work. If you visit the New Zealand Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade website, you'll see some interesting facts about the relationship between New Zealand and Italy. Namely, that there are strong historical, sporting, trade and cultural links between the two nations. One only has to think about how close the relationship between Team Prada and Team New Zealand has been in the America's Cup over the last 20 years, or about the New Zealand artists and architects who exhibited at the Venice Biennale, or about how many New Zealanders call Italy home and vice versa, let alone the ones who visit. Political and military agreements have been signed between our two countries. Have you ever considered that Italian could be useful in your future career as a diplomat, historian, translator, sportsperson, artist, lawyer, accountant or military service person? The New Zealand Ministry of Foreign Affairs and Trade also quotes the two nations' close cooperations in the scientific field. Italy's Stazione Terranova and New Zealand's Scott Base in Antarctica are staffed by marine biologists and an array of specialists and scientists from Italy and New Zealand who work closely together and socialise together regularly. Both Italy and New Zealand scientists are working in the Ross Sea region. Italian and New Zealand scientists research on technologies and practices to grow more food and more climate resilient food systems without growing greenhouse gas emissions. Italian and New Zealand scientists work together as members of the governing board of the Square Kilometre Array project. The array will form the world's largest radio telescope. Italy is a world leader in machine tool manufacturing with sophisticated technologies in electromechanical machinery, robotics, shipbuilding and space engineering. Have you ever considered that Italian could be useful in your future career as a scientist? medical doctor, marine biologist, or an engineer? Not to mention trade. Italy is fourth largest individual trading partner within the EU. The tourism market is a highlight for both countries. The trade between the two nations is worth 1,767,000 New Zealand dollars. Have you ever considered that Italian could be useful in your future career in import-export? business, trade and commerce. And of course, learning Italian and about Italian culture will be useful in your career in music, archaeology, ancient history, the food and hospitality industry, fashion and design, graphic design and more. As Italy is a world leader in interior design, fashion, furniture production, graphic design and art restoration. But enough about why Let's move on to what you'll be learning. There are two beginner's papers, Italian 100, 100G, and Italian 107. Students who choose the course Italian 100, 100G attend class once a week for a two-hour session. Some streams are offered at 5 to 7 p.m. They do the rest of the work through an app. In the app, in Italia con Giacomo, designed to work with a textbook, Giacomo is an electric Vespa with a personality who acts as the learner's travelling companion and learning guide. Over 11 weeks, learners travel with Giacomo through Italy from north to south, acquiring language and culture that they then use in production activities in class. In each region, they meet people, engage with local products, recipes, customs and traditions. The intermediate level papers Italian 200 and 201 are divided into thematic units in which you'll be introduced to the Italian school system, the Italian economy, Italian cities, Italian history, sport and wellness, Italian music, art, science and literature, as well as social and environmental problems of today's Italy. The advanced language and culture paper is Italian 300. This is when your language skills allow you to start discussing social issues in more depth. We see, read, hear and discuss these topics, Italian politics, official roles and in institutions, controversial law reforms, social movements, the Italians love-hate-passion relationship with Italy, 
work and family. Made in Italy brands and the fakes issue. And last but not least, the great Italian magistrates and their war to the mafia. At all levels, we have study abroad options, which will allow you to travel to Italy and frequent a course there to have it credited towards the University of Auckland degree. After you pass Italian 300, you may be eligible to enrol in an internship experience course in Italy. Recently, our students have been offered prestigious internships in the Egyptian Museum in Turin, the Archivio Capitolino, Rome, 2B1 Group in the legal office in Milan, and the University of Trieste Natural Science Department in Trieste. And lastly, how can we help along the way? Some scholarships and awards are available, like the Dante Alighieri Scholarships, which offer two tuition fees scholarships at level one. The AC Keys Memorial Prize, a $500 prize awarded annually to the student who has made the most progress in two language courses for Stage 1 Italian. The Elon Wells Scholarships in European Languages. These are two scholarships of up to $9,000 each to support New Zealand citizens and permanent residents to enrol in undergraduate and postgraduate study in a European language. And the CLL Study Abroad Award for up to $2,000 for overseas study. So we hope to see you in 2021 and invite you for more information to visit www.arts.auckland.ac.nz slash Italian. Arrivederci.